I'm George Verwer. I get accused of having started OM way back in 57 when I went to uh, Mexico. I think you're going to follow me around a little bit today and uh, I believe it's going to be an exciting day especially as we head off to the Evangelist Conference. It's good to be back. I'm in from all over the place. We just thank you and praise you and especially cry out to you for the situation in Bosnia. The situation in southern Sudan and in Angola and Sri Lanka. Come on, honey. OM's involved in thousands of projects across the world with the young people and with our longer term staff. Thank you for calling with the effort of working with others to reach the whole world with the gospel. There are now two and a half thousand of us in OM in about 80 nations. But our burden is to work with other agencies. Our burden is to work with the church. I've got to get together with you this morning on a lot of that before I go. Of course, in some of the countries we're in, we're having to get involved in planting churches. Well, this is the office that I don't work in uh, very much because I'm away and I often work across the lane in my home. But here's where I keep a lot of the sample books and a lot of paper connected with projects. Well, welcome to our uh, little house that the uh, Lord provided for us. Lived here, I guess, about 14 years now. Sitting in. If I can't work on the road, then I can't go. It's as simple as that. Bye. Lord, we commit our journey to you over to Forest Hill. Okay, we got it. <laughs> One, some free book. There's <laughs> something for you for Christmas. When I come into these stations, as I've been doing here in London for the last 30 years, I'm just reminded that uh, there's a tremendous evangelistic challenge right here in this country but we're gripped with the whole global situation when we walk through the streets of London as we meet people of uh, so many different backgrounds and so many different nationalities and we long to see the church really mobilize and do something about the situation that all these people could be reached with the gospel of the Lord Jesus. It's so clear in the New Testament that every Christian should be committed to mission. Every Christian, young or old, needs to be committed to reaching the world with the gospel. These are urgent, desperate days in which we're living. And people need to be focused. And I'm hoping that some people, just through watching this and listening to this, are going to get in contact with us because we need you. Don't pray, Lord, here am I, send my sister. But we need you to consider getting involved with us in taking the gospel right to the ends of the earth. We're faced with phenomenal opportunities and open doors right now here in Europe and right across the world. But we need people. We need people like you who are willing to get involved, who are willing to get off the evangelical fence and into the action. Without that, many people are never going to hear about Jesus Christ.